What's up guys, this is Pete. Today's video is going to walk you through installing bartender drivers for your Epson printer. For my example, I'll be using the Colorworks C7500G model, but this process also applies to any other printer in the C7500 series of printers. To complete this installation, you'll need to be connected to the internet and have the IP address of your printer. If you haven't set up a port for the printer yet, that's okay because this driver allows you to set it up during installation. Before we get started, you'll want to follow the link in the description of this video to Siegel Scientific's Epson driver download page. Here, all you need to do is click the download button, and your browser will notify you when the file is done downloading. Open the executable file from your browser and accept this license agreement. Select the directory where you want to unzip the files to, I'll be using the default directory. On the next screen, make sure you have checked the option to run the driver wizard after unpacking. You can uncheck the read installation instructions because you have me. Once the driver is unpacked, you may have to allow privileges for the wizard to run. Now that we've started the wizard, select the Install Printer Drivers option. For this video, we're going to be installing the drivers over a wireless network, so select the second radio button for network. Click Next, and on the next page, select the correct model for your printer. As I mentioned earlier, I'm working with a C7500G. If you have already have a port set up for your printer, you can skip this next part by selecting the correct port from the list. If you have not yet set up a port, click Create Port, and in the pop-up window, select the standard port. Click New Port, and then we'll notice we have another wizard here. This time, make sure that your printer is turned on, and that your computer and printer are both connected to the network. If you have not assigned an IP address to your printer and connected it to the network yet, check out our video walkthrough of that process. I'll throw a link to that up right now. Go ahead and click Next in the wizard. On this screen, enter the IP address of your printer, and the port information should fill out automatically. That's 192.168.134. Go ahead and click Next, and confirm that the adapter type on the next screen matches your printer. This information right here is the adapter type. I am using the C7500G, so it seems like it's detected the right printer. We're going to go ahead and press Finish, and let's move on to the next screen. We don't need this Create Port tab anymore, so we can go ahead and close this. And now that we're back in the Port Selection screen, the desired printer should be available in the list. Select it, and then we'll move on to the next screen. Here you can create a name for your printer, which is highly recommended if your network contains multiple printers of the same type. You can also share this printer to a network if you will be using multiple computers to print to it. I know that we have two other C7500Gs in our print lab, so I'm going to go ahead and name this number three. The next window may or may not appear for you, but at this point in the wizard, there is an option to upgrade the drivers for any other applicable printers on the network. You can choose to check for upgrades, or you can ignore it. Hopefully you now have a successful installation screen with a short log of all the actions performed. You can now close the installation wizard. That's all there is guys. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to check out our new website infinitylabelgroup.com where you can purchase ink, labels, and supplies. Our selection even covers printers from both Epson and Affinia, and we have all the accessories that you can need to keep it running and keep those labels coming. If you have any questions or want to request a video, please contact us through ipsyscan.com. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.